Okay, so today we will be learning about um, data version control and uh, the machine learning flow, ML flow. So straight in, I want to uh, share my screen and give the presentation. Then we will um, uh, we will do a little bit of um, uh, the practical bit of it, and then I think we will see how it goes from there. So, are you able to see my screen? I think, I think maybe, yeah, okay, thanks. So, um, let's get straight in to uh, learn about data version control and uh, model tracking. Yeah, so our main purpose for um, this um, uh, this tutorial today is uh, we want to know what is data version control and uh, we also seek to know what is uh, model tracking and uh, the tools that you can use for um, yeah, data version control and also in uh, model tracking. So let's begin with uh, data version control, uh, DVC. Uh, data version control is um, just a system for uh, controlling uh, the versions of uh, our data that we have. So it is, it is um, similar to Git, uh, the way Git also keeps track of uh, the different versions that you make in your project. Uh, so data version, also con data version control also keeps a track of the versions that we have of our data. Uh, DVC um, allows, to keep, allows us to keep the information of the different versions of the data that we have, just the same way Git also uh, keeps the information of uh, the versions of uh, the codes or the projects that we are doing. So the, the commands that are found there in DVC, they are similar to the ones that are there in Git. Yeah, if you want to, um, if you want to use DVC, you just start by installing DVC, that is uh, pip install DVC, and then from there you are able to work with DVC. So, yeah, why 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 do we uh, why do we use DVC? Um, DVC uh, data versioning uh, it enables us to replace large data files, uh, large files of data, uh, the dataset directories, uh, machine learning models, etc. Um, so it replaces them with uh, the small meta files uh, of that given data which are easy to handle with, uh, with Git. Um, the placeholder points to the original data, uh, which is decoupled from the source of the code management. So in short, it just, it tries to uh, minimize the amount of uh, space um, or the space that is going to be occupied, especially when you're dealing with large data sets. So it gives you a metadata, but that metadata is easy to handle with, uh, not metadata, but meta files, which are easy to handle with, with Git. So it also gives us uh, uh, data storage on premises uh, or cloud storage. It can be used to store a project data separate from uh, the code base. So we can store the, uh, the, the data that we're using separately from uh, the code base that we, we have. Uh, number three also, it is easy to use. DVC is quick to install. Uh, as we've seen, just pip install DVC, it's that easy to install DVC. And uh, it doesn't require special infrastructure so that you can have DVC installed. So there's no other um, 
no software that you need to download uh, so that you can uh, install DVC in, uh, in your machine. Uh, nor does it depend on any APIs or uh, external services. Yeah, it is a standalone command line interface tool. So uh, it exists, yeah, it is, yeah, it's a standalone uh, CLI. So that means that, um, yeah, we do not need uh, infrastructures like maybe say, uh, for example, if you're using AWS, you'll know that you will need AWS for uh, the APIs for you to get your, your data. So um, that is the goodness with um, DVC. It is easy to use. It enhances um, uh, data storage, and then uh, we are also able to keep versions of uh, our data. So yeah, that will be that on DVC. Um, now, uh, let's also try and see what is ML flow. Uh, ML flow is, uh, is a machine learning operations tool that can be used to increase the efficiency of machine learning experimentation and uh, product productionization. So uh, what that simply means is with ML flow, we, we are able to increase uh, how efficient is uh, our experiment and the, uh, the means in which we produce uh, our models or our, uh, the, the learning outcomes of our experiments. So ML flow is organized into four components and these four components are, uh, yeah, they are the four main things that ML flow tries to answer or to, um, to solve. That is the tracking, tracking of our model projects and then models and, uh, and, and registry. So ML flow just helps, helps in tracking of hundreds of models that we can have in our experiments and then it um, uh, gives the container environment, uh, the data sets, model parameters and the hyperparameters of uh, that given model, and also to reproduce them when there is need for them to, uh, to be reproduced. So yeah, um, yeah, so that is that on uh, MLflow. What are the challenges that uh, uh, we face in machine learning? If suppose we do not have uh, ML flow. So the challenges in machine learning is it is difficult to keep track records of, of the experiments that we have. Um, it is also difficult to reproduce the same code. And we know how, how um, difficult it is to uh, produce a given set of code um, over a number of times. And then there is no standard way to package and to deploy the models we have in machine learning. So uh, the models that we have in machine learning have different ways in which we package them and uh, in which we also deploy them. So there's no standard way of uh, packaging and deploying those uh, models. And then there is no central store to manage models. Um, that, that means there are their versions and their stage transitions. So there's no central store in which we can uh, manage the models that we have in, in, machine, in machine learning. So um, with those challenges, um, those are the um, things that MLflow tries to answer. MLflow it enhances uh, tracking, um, MLflow tracking. That means that you can record and query the experiments. Uh, that is the code, the data, the configuration, and the results, and then um, ML flow projects, we are able to package the data science code in a format to reproduce runs of any platform. And then we have um, ML flow models, that is to deploy the machine learning models in diverse serving environments. Um, by diverse serving environments, we just mean uh, the models can be used in uh, different setups or um, in different uh, environments that we have um, for, um, for using the, the machine learning models. And then we, we have MLflow registry, uh, that is to store, annotate, to discover and manage the models in a central uh, repository. So we have maybe yeah, a central store or a central repository in which we are able to store, uh, we are able to annotate which, regist um, 
like to give a register to uh, the models to discover them and also just to uh, manage the models, um, the machine learning models uh, that we have. Yeah, so um, yeah, that is a nutshell of what is contained in uh, machine learning, ML flow, and, um, and also and DVC. So let's get to a quick experiment, uh, a, a quick practical in which we can uh, we can see how how do we do DVC or how do we uh, do uh, ML flow. So I will stop sharing and then I'll start sharing again. Yeah, so um, we, we want to we want to be able to see now how do we do DVC. Um, let's start with DVC and then we see how how do we also do um, ML flow. So um, So um, I will take us through um, this uh, so that we can be able to see how we do um, DVC. So when we are doing um, DVC, uh, the first thing is say that um, you have DVC installed by just um, running um, the line pip install DVC. Um, you'll be able to bear with me a little bit. I think my machine is a little bit slow, but uh, we will see how we work with it. So I already have, uh, I already have uh, DVC installed in uh, my machine. But if you don't have DVC installed in your machine, you can just run pip install DVC, DVC like that. Um, and then yeah, you will be able to install DVC in uh, in your machine. So um, after installing um, DVC, um, let's try and give this um, a little bit of some short time so that we see how it runs. So I, I think you can also be doing this. Maybe you can just open uh, one of your projects that you're working on and then try and follow along. And then you, you let me know if yeah yours is able to run. So you begin with pip install DVC so that you have um, DVC installed in your in your machine.
So how many of us have been able to run a pip install DVC? Maybe just by um, a show. Can you just raise your hand so that I know that we are together? Okay, okay. Can see, yeah, it's installing. Hey, this one. Yes. There's a question on the chat about if there's any requirement for the Python version. I think you can just answer. Um, Rafa, I'm not using Linux. I'm using Windows. Um, um, I'm not sure if there's any any kind of requirement uh, for uh, for um, for you to install um, DVC, but I think maybe it's just uh, Python three. Maybe if you're using Python three, it should be able to install. Okay. We need to build win. Okay. Um, I'm not sure uh, if any of the tutors is in, could maybe answer these uh, the errors that are here, maybe build wheel building wheel. Okay, uh, let, let me look at it. Uh, the, the one in the chat. Or oh, the one in the chat, not on your uh, uh, screen, okay.
So, um, uh -huh. some rawit. Samrawit, can you try what Martin uh, pip install Dulwich global user? And then you see um, Matilda. Can you use? Um, user at the, can you append user? Um, someone you're asking if you can use another way to install. Just know you can install it using pip, pip install dbc. Yours is still installing. Okay. So, okay. So, um, So can I, can I know how many I've been able to install uh, DVC? Okay, Stella. Yeah, Martin. Okay. So, um, so if, if you've been able to install um, DVC, uh, then let's let's create uh, a directory. Let's make a directory. For me, I'll call it data two. Um, in, in 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 the project folder that you're working on. So uh, after creating that directory, and then now uh, let's try and uh, and add some data to that directory. So we will just use DVC, add um,
just a minute, let me sort this out. Okay, just a minute, let me sort this, then. Okay, so um, so after you have created a directory, uh, please just run DVC in it, uh, and then you create. Um, now you're able to work in your uh, DVC. We can't see your screen this morning. Oh, okay, okay. Um, let me share. You can see my screen now. So just run, um, run this, um, run DVC in it. So DDR, you're asking how, how we can check that DVC has been installed. Uh, Musa, can you answer that? Okay, I'll, I'll check now. Okay. So uh, I'll, I'll send the chat. Sure. So, um, how many of us have been able to run uh, DVC in it? Uh, 
Okay. So after that, you go go to the directory that you created and create a, a create 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 a file. Um, So I'll create a file here, and then I'll just call it um, uh, just call it data. But uh, but um, XML. So um, then we'll go we'll go ahead to add uh, this data. Uh, so we just do the DC add um, So, so with running that command DVC add they uh, we, we 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 go to the directory uh, of that file data two slash data dot xml uh, we are able to add that um, the data that we have so then then we um, let's add this as well git. Uh, now we would love now to add it also to git. We say git add um, the the directory to this path, the, the path to this file here data dot xml. Um, dot dvc and then data um, we had a, a bit ignore um, so um, okay So just just a minute, just a minute, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry for that. Uh, so uh, we, we will add this file to git, just do git, um, git add um, data to slash data.xml. Uh, Desmond, can I assist there? Uh? Yes, yes. Uh, just open your dot git ignore file. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't have a git ignore file. It seems you already do. Uh, it's complaining. So I think oh, yeah, once yeah. Again, you already do. I think DVC gives you. Was yeah, added, yeah. But it seems you do. Yeah, actually, I can see it. There. You do have a yeah. git ignore. Just open it. So that's what's happening. You've ignored that file, so which means you can't commit it. You need to remove it.
So I need to add something here. Yeah, that. Yeah, so I think that is that. So we are able to add the gitignore file and also um, the, 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 the data.xml file. And then now let's just, let's commit them to uh, our repo so that we see git commit. And with that, we are able to add um, the, the data.xml, which is in DVC format to our, to our repo. So, I would love to show us this so that you are able to see. Not even sure where this is, but let me see. So, um, how many of us have been able to? Let me first see. How many of us have been able to do that? How many of us have been able to uh, add the data and push to Git? Okay. So, um, So after 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 doing our DVC in it, uh, we we add our we add um, we we create a data. We make a directory called data two, uh, and in this directory called data two, uh, we have uh, we have two files. We have data.xml, and we have the gitignore file. And then um, after that, we run um, git um, git add. Uh, we we add these two files: the the one for data data dot xml and the one for for git. Let me let me just paste that those two. This one should be two.
So I can see, Ken, you've been able to push. And then after adding those two files, um, then we do um, git commit and then we are able to commit those, uh, the two files. I think I, I think I forgot to run the git push. So um, that should bring. Yeah. Hey, this one. Yes. Uh, is that machine learning folder the one you created, or it's the one you you cloned? Um, th this is one that I created. Okay, and the, where are you getting those uh, other, those data files? Or it's just the folders? Um, okay, so um, this this folder that you're working, that we have our data stored, we created it using um, this command make directory, make directory data tool just immediately after installing our just immediately after installing our dvc then we ran uh, this command make directory data2 and then we are able to create this uh, this folder did you already get that yeah sure yeah sure okay musa um just my message just that you upload your folder the whole folder into into uh, Google Drive, yeah. uh, so everyone can just download it. So the same instructions that are working for you can also work for them. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So let, let me let me just upload um, this, and then I think everyone can can get it so that we. We're able to so faith was able to push the changes You're able to see that So in, in the meantime, um, is there anyone with a question? On DVC? Hey, this month. Yes. Yeah, like I don't understand how uh, uh, DVC has been used in this case. Like you, you created that for the machine learning. You added other folders, like uh, data, and then you pushed. So how how did you use? Uh, how did you use? How did you use DVC in this case? Maybe I, I might have. I, I didn't get the last part of what you were saying. Can you hear me now? 
Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, we created the, the folders and then we pushed to GitHub. So how did we use this in this case? You're asking how I use DVC. Yeah, maybe, or you, you can like re repeat the the steps which you, you went through maybe. And how do oh. you use DVC in this case? Okay. So uh, if you if you go to week two folder, you will find uh, You'll find machine learning. I'm sure someone has raised their hand. Okay. So if you go to week two folder, you can find the the um, the folder for um, this. Uh, uh, for this project, and I think so. Um, so, Didier, for, for your question, um, the, 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 we, we already have, uh, uh, let, let me just share so that. So, so when you go to yeah, week two folder, you'll be able to get um, the whole of these in, in the week two folder. So Didier, you ask, you're asking, uh, we, re we already had this machine learning um, project or folder. So we created a, a, a new folder in it, a new directory, we named it uh, data2. So we made a directory here called make directory data2. And then after that, um, we did our DVC in it. So we were in our, um, this uh, initialized to a DVC repository. Then um, after that, we added, we went, we went to this folder and created a, data.xml file. So after creating this data.xml file, um, then we we added this, uh, the data using git um, add data2.xml together with uh, the git ignore. And then after adding those two files, now we were just able to commit those two files and then push them to um to github does that answer your question didier yeah it does that half of it like yeah in those files you didn't have anything so how did the dvc help us in this case you're asking how dvc would help us yes yes Musa. Uh, I think the way I understand it is, it seems that the commit was done using Git and not DVC. Um, am I right, Didier? That's what you're asking, right? If you would committed using Git, what's the use of DVC in this case? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Musa, Musa, you're muted if you're talking, maybe. No, no, uh, no. <laughs> um, I'm just thinking that, uh, yeah, let me just look at it as well. Um, but maybe we wanted to do something with the data and data fold, data two folders to actually show how you can uh, track uh, the data with DVC. Uh, I think maybe it got lost um, in, in the struggles of installing uh, DVC, some of those instructions. Okay. So I'm not sure DDR where you got lost. Uh, you you asking now the essence of uh, the DVC. Uh, 
Yeah, I I, I installed successfully DVC and I create I created those folders, but doing DVC in it didn't work. I got an error. Okay, what was the error? Failed to initiate DVC. Uh, did, did you install successfully DVC? Yes. I did. Mm, I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe you could share that maybe on Slack and then. And then we see how we can um, help you out. Um, okay, fine. Um, so When you're in the same directory for machine learning. Mm. Daisy, you're asking another question. Do we see in it should be called? Yeah, sorry, my keyboard is faulty. I just wanted to confirm yes. um, because I seem to have called DBC in it in the. I seem to have called DBC in it in the like the main main folder. So now when I try to do it while in data two, it's giving me an error. So I just wanted to confirm that. Um. You, you, when you're in this, you do it when you're in this folder called machine learning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I've done that. I don't know why I'm getting an error. Let me look at it. Thank you. What is there? Okay. Uh, I'm typing it. Um, did you there's a suggestion from uh, Geza Hen. Okay, Daisy, do, do, did you create uh, data.xml in, inside the data2 folder? Okay. Mm, I'm not sure if Daisy, you have this one. In your data two folder, you have um, data dot XML. Because if you have it, then it shouldn't give you that error. Yes, Margaret. I'm, I'm worried about, I'm, I'm asking about the, the third um, file, data.xml.dvc. Should we also create that? No. On the data2 folder? No, you don't, you don't create that. That one will, uh, it will be created automatically with the DVC.
Daisy, did you ask work? Yes, Margaret. Um, after creating the subfolders on uh, data to folder, what's the next uh, command for the next step? Okay, so after creating those uh, folders, you do uh, git add. Um, let, let me just copy this and again and add. You, you uh, after creating them you add those two um, you add those two files the git ignore and uh, and the, the data XML. Okay. Um, so are we together, everyone, until that? Um, yes. Okay. Okay, so I think maybe we can stop there for DVC and then we look at something for ML flow. So um, for ML flow, um, First of all, we will run these. Um, if you don't have MLflow installed in your machine, you will run pip install MLflow. I, I already have a MLflow, so I'll, I'll not run uh, the command again. But, but please tell me if you're able to run the pip install. Kikma, mm. okay. are you are you uh, can can you can you uh, paste the can you write the the, the error that you're facing? Uh, please let, let me know. Okay. Yes, Margaret. Margaret. I'm um, sorry, I was on mute. So after running the git add to data command dot data xml is there any other um command we need to write before installing mlflow no okay uh, no, no no daisy uh, i think there's some way you're still back um, 
were you able to um, run? Were you able to to do the the other the other? Were you able to add and make commit and push your uh, your files to to GitHub? Yes, I'm good. Thank you. Uh, okay. So yeah, I think um, Hikma. Uh, Ikma, can you try the suggestion that has been given by Musa? Shaka, are you, are you able to unmute and maybe say, which part are you in, Kevin? Like, I was trying to, to create some file data.xml and I faced that error. I was using touch touch command, but it is not working. Um, it's like I didn't get the last part that you said. So can you hear me? Yes. Like I was saying, I faced that error of touch while I was trying to create the, the files. Data.xml and git ignore. You are in Windows. Yeah. Okay, I think. I think maybe touch cannot work in Windows. I think so. Yeah, but there's a there's a comment uh, Martin has made. Uh, touch touch cannot work in Windows. I just think so. So uh, I'm not sure the method that you use in creating that uh, that 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 uh, file. Yes, Musa. Um, I think to create a, you can just create a file uh, normally the way you do it uh, in Windows, right? Um, I think you could use Notepad or something, and then just save it in the directory. Just you know, create a new file with Notepad or something. Okay. Okay, so I think uh, um, Shaka, you'll be able to tell us if that works out. Um, I'm eager to know if there's anyone who has been able to successfully install a mail flow. Yeah, I see Daisy. You're raising your hand or you've been successfully, you've done. I've successfully installed, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, I can see some hands, okay. Thanks, thanks. Okay, thanks, Kevin. Yes, Musa. So maybe just some advice uh, with me here. I'm not sure if the, with Windows it could be different, but with me here, when I do it from within a, a Conda environment, I didn't experience any issues for both DVC and MLflow. So maybe they should try do it from within Conda then all the dependency issues could be resolved. Because for me, everything just ran fine. So maybe if they could try that, I'm not sure if there's any Windows specific issues that they're experiencing, but if they can try doing it within a Conda environment, it might help. Okay, thanks. So, yeah, if you've been successfully, been, if you have successfully been able to install ML flow. Um, 
I think I'll just show us maybe how one thing works in ML flow and then we we'll see. So let me let me share with us this as well. You can get to this. Um, that site, and then you you're able to get a guide of how uh, you you can start off with the mail flow. Um, so if you have your, yeah, I think I, I shared this code with us. Then I'll just run a mail flow basic and then we see how it goes so just run ml flow um ui Let's see So, so with ML flow, it's not very complicated to run this. So if 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 you are able to run this and you are able to see um, such kind of an interface, you just let me know. Okay, thanks, Martin. Is there someone else who has been able to run a mail flow? Okay. Ramet, thanks. Yeah, Faith, Biruk. Is there anyone who is getting some error, maybe, in running a mail flow? So that's why I'm not sure. I'm not sure where you, um, which from which part you would love assistance to be directed. Okay. So immediately after. Um, so that's why immediately after, uh, immediately after 
after you have run your DVC in it, create a, I'm not sure if you've already created this directory called data2. If you've already created this directory, create a data.xml file. And then after creating that data that data.xml file, uh, do your git add, uh, and then add the two files, data.xml file and uh, and uh, and the git ignore. And then after that, after adding them, just do git commit and then git push. Uh, Stalin, you're asking if you push to a new repo. Um, it, it should be a repo that you are working on before. Because I don't think if you're even able to do git add without it being a, a repo in the first place. So do, do we have, um, yeah, so if, you, if you've been able to run until you have gotten this, now um, I think you, you are able to see the experiments and yeah, I think we don't have any, any model here uh, at the moment. You're, you're able to see um, the experiments that you have. You can add your experiments and then you can um, do your runs and see. Um, you're able to track also the, the models and uh, you can also create artifacts from here and see how, how they work. Yeah, so I'm not sure if there's anyone with a question, maybe if you're stuck somewhere so that we can bring this to a close at that, and then we continue to talk more. And I'm not sure if Musa, Musa, can you answer this question? Yeah, sure, I'll answer. The, the, the one in the chat. Yeah, the one from Martin. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll answer. In the meantime, do we have anyone else with a question? Yes, Margaret? Um, I got lost to how you got to the web page on MLflow. 
Okay. So how I got to this web page of MLflow. Uh, the, the command was quite simple. It was just ML after you've installed MLflow, just MLflow UI. Which stands for the user interface. MLflow UI. And then Sorry, I think, I think I lost my connection somewhere. Matilda, um, the question that you asked, um, they, 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 I've shared this folder with in week two. So if you get to week two, you you will get uh, you'll get um, all these files. So do we do we do we have anyone else with a question? Yeah, this month. Yes. Yeah, I I was uh, working on uh, still working on the on the DVC part, but I'm done with it. But ML flow UI don't work for me. So maybe you can remind me of how to install ML flow. I didn't do that part. Okay, ML flow UI, it is not working. What error does it bring? I think it's because I haven't installed it yet. Okay, so I think you, you have to install, keep install ML flow first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then after you have installed ML flow, you can do your ML flow UI. Okay, thanks. Um, So uh, I think Matilda, the folder that you're asking is here. Uh, it's called machine learning. Week two machine learning. So you can be able to get, um, you can be able to get uh, these, uh, the files for, uh, that we've used in this, in this tutorial. So I'm not sure if, yeah, because I think you should, to be able to see that. So do, do we have anyone else maybe? Martin, I think you can try the suggestion that has been given in Musa. Um, and uh, 
yeah, if we still have some other questions, uh, we can continue with the chat in Slack. And uh, then I think we will be able to get more help. So if, if um, there is no one else with uh, another question, maybe or something to add, maybe we can bring this to a close. Yeah, I think Martin, you have to get the experiment so that I think you have your artifacts. So if there's, um, yeah, if if there's no one else, maybe with a question or uh, a comment to add, I think we we can bring this class to uh, this tutorial to a close. Okay. Okay, so I think maybe we can stop at that and then uh, we continue with um, with uh, the chat and Slack. So yeah, that will be that for our tutorial today. Um, have a nice evening everyone and nice coding. Goodbye.